Hi guys, welcome to my What's on my HTC One M7 video. So first of all, I wanted to show you the cover I put on this phone, which is a transparent one because I really think this phone has a great design, and I really love to show it to people. Um, so I bought the silver version, and the it's the 32 gigs version. So let's get into it. So as you can see in this lock screen you can think it's just normal HTC sense but when I slide this one up, boom, it's not actually HTC sense as you're used to. So I put the launcher on it which is called TSF Shell and I think it's a really really nice launcher because it's really customizable and nice looking and I think it's one of the best uh, but let's get into the apps first of all right here you have the cleaner which is an app you can use to recover some memory or storage so if you tap there it will uh, evaluate how much memory you can get back recover and here you can select what not to close or something like that. Uh, same thing for the memory. Uh, and all the other apps I have on my home screen are YouTube, Mail, Gmail, Default, which is a folder uh, that automatically came with the launcher. And I'll show it to you in a second. And Facebook. So if I go like this, I open this folder in a really fancy way which is typical of this launcher um, where you can draw your own path and that's really cool and by the way I'll talk about this launcher in the next uh, video uh, which is which will be dedicated to it I guess so stay tuned if you want to look at it um, so right here you have a hidden menu with all the most used apps and here I put the Play Store, WhatsApp, Hangouts, Google Chrome, Google Drive, Google Maps, Google Translate, and my music app. So, alright, I close it. And uh, let's get to the app drawer. Up here, you have only one toolbox, uh, which is a really nice app to check everything about your phone such as the RAM, the ROM, the SD card, your battery info, your network info and then take a look at all the processes and the tools and one fancy thing about this app is that if you go here in general and then you go into boot speed up you can choose which apps you want to launch when you turn your phone on so the next app is called AppLock, which is uh, an app to lock some other apps. Okay, I will not show you my code, but you have to type your code in. And then here you can choose which apps you want to lock. And so when you lock an app, uh, when you open it, you will have to put your personal code in. I only lock two because, you know, I don't want people to get into those. Uh, Alright, so... And the next one is locked app and it's called auto SMS so you can see how this uh, app lock works there you go uh, and I only installed this app because you have the schedule part of it which is really useful for birthdays or something like that if you just want to go to bed and but still send a text message to somebody after midnight for example and you can do it by the using this app the next app I wanted to show you is a keyboard and let's uh, take a look at it I just installed it so I'm not really practical with it and let's open whatsapp a chat and let's say I want to type hi there all right so as you just saw if you swipe right you have your space if you swipe up and down you can choose in between all the suggestions there you go for example there is just fine and when I uh, slide left I will erase some mistakes just like I did 
and I can minimize or maximize the keyboard by sliding with two fingers and it's nice but it doesn't have Italian language so I cannot use it in my everyday life but for somebody speaking speaking English it will work just fine up next is the Humble Bundle app which is nice if you ever bought some games on Humble Bundle and it's the only way to get them uh, so when you buy an Android game you have to it will be automatically added to this app where you can manage all your games and you know if you don't know about Humble Bundle just take a look at it it's really nice but this app is actually quite laggy on HTC One so it's not that great but still it's really nice uh, next up is notification toggle which would be that one which I will not open from there but I will open from here so if you uh, open your notification bar you can see these two bars I put here so you can toggle Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data or uh, on or off and uh, here you have the settings, the camera, the flashlight, the brightness and the calculator and this is all done by this really cool app uh, where you can just speed this process up instead of just dragging, dragging it with two fingers down and having pretty much the same things but you cannot get like the calculator in there so it's nice if you want to speed everything up another app I wanted to show you is called Snappy and it's actually this little floaty square right here it is really useful if you want to take pictures real quick because you just tap on that square and it opens the camera and then here you can just take a picture and if you go right here you will be able to modify it by applying like some effects and stuff like that and I have a whole bunch of locked effects because I didn't actually get the pro version but if you do you have a whole bunch of more effects you can apply to your pictures so I don't know you're watching a movie or, or whatever and you want to take a real quick picture and so you just tap on snappy and you can take a picture real quick for all of you that think that this will be on the way while watching videos or something you're wrong because if you can immediately hold this button and it will get invisible and you can get back to it by just dragging the notification bar down and hit the show uh, button right there and there you go it's back and you can move it and just leave it wherever you want I wanted to show you Steam app as well because if you are a gamer uh, you probably want to install this just to chat with your friends when you're not on the computer and if any of you want to add me on Steam I am Vocable and 5 as you can see there it's a Borderlands 2 picture now I want to show you swiping one of the best apps out there because you can set the brightness just by swiping in a determinate place of the screen I put it right there because it's easy to reach and it's quite easy to remember what it is and you know you're watching a movie uh, or you are indoor and you go outdoors and so you previously set the lowest brightness and right now you wanna have the highest brightness so you just go like this and the work is done the last app I wanted to show you is called Vibe and it's really nice if you want to customize somebody's vibration like when they text you or when they call you you can just go right, right here hit the record button and record a vibration and then you can add it to a contact you know it's nice when you want to know who's calling you and you have your phone in your pocket uh, because you immediately know who's calling you so that's it for today's video, stay tuned if you want to check the full review of this TSF shell launcher which will be uploaded as soon as I can. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and there you go.